Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Favorite with Friends. Today, I'm here with my good friend, Don Cam. Hey, Don. Hello. Hey, Mary. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, I'm going to adjust my screen one more time. It's okay. Nobody's watching yet. <laughs> and just to let you know, um, people usually watch later instead of right when we're recording. So hopefully a few people will pop on here. Um, but if you don't, see, if I don't mention any comments or anyone saying hello, don't panic. That's okay. They will watch us later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am excited to talk about your new favorite TV show. Tell us all about it. Okay, so this shows that I'm totally not up on everything on TV like you are. <laughs> I'm up on what's at the movies, but not yeah. on TV. So I discovered brand new this TV show over the weekend that happened to be from 2007. But it was new to me, and it's Chuck, and I love Chuck, and it turns out this was a great favorite of yours. You probably knew in 2007 and every year since then that it existed. <laughs> Whereas I discovered it over the weekend from a prompt on Amazon Prime TV. But, oh, my gosh, I seriously love it. I'm down to the last episode of season one, which is. Oh, my gosh. And that is since you said that since this weekend. Yeah, since like Sunday night. And this is Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> All my kids are at camp. There's nobody home. But my son's dog, I'm pet sitting all day. And the dog is totally down with Chuck, too. And our dog. Yeah, who has a birthday tomorrow? We're like doing doggy birthday celebration and chat. Nice. That's my week. It's very quiet. So it's a good week to binge. That is perfect. Yes, I did watch Chuck when it was on. Um, I don't I don't remember, you know, how I heard about it or whatever, but I loved it from the beginning. Uh, we watched every single episode and I watched I rewatched it when I very first got Netflix a few years ago. I rewatched the whole thing um, just because I love it so much. It is. Okay. So if you don't know, because Don, you are certainly not the only person who's not watched it. Yeah. Uh, so Chuck is, it is an action comedy. It is hour long. It was on NBC. It stars Zachary Levi, um, who you might know from uh, the voice of Flynn Rider. In oh yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what else. I think he was in Alias Grace on Hulu. Okay. I didn't watch that, but yeah, I I might be. I'm 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 a fan of his, so I read an article anyway. And it also stars Yvonne Str something or other. Thing for um, yeah, yeah. Which you, will, you which uh, she is actually in The Handmaid's Tale. So apparently these two just like Margaret Atwood TV shows. Weird. Um, so he is accidentally um, implanted with um, so what they call the intersect. Yes. And it's like a giant computer into his head. And so the FBI and the CIA um, wants to basically own him and use him for their purposes. Um, and then there's mysteries surrounding his family. Um, and of course, he also gets you know develops a crush on his handler sarah because she is beautiful and also totally amazing <laughs> um oh and also oh what's the guy's name um oh, firefly oh uh john casey is the other guy oh, yeah what's this? i can't think of the oh, actor buddy, now oh uh i uh, almost said alec baldwin it's somebody baldwin drew baldwin adam adam baldwin there we go Something i think so yeah, so if you watch Firefly, it's not Nathan Fillion, it's the other guy. Um, yeah, so they kind of make up a team. And um, so you said you've gotten through the first season. Almost. I'm down to the last episode of the first season. So I will totally be finishing that tonight. Yes. It's just, it's fun. My husband always tries to get me to watch comedies. And I'm always, I don't know, I'm always kind of action adventure or whatever. So like you said, it's like an action comedy. Yes. And everybody, I love shows where there are no throwaway characters. Like mm -hmm. some some movies or some TV shows, you have one or two, the main characters, and they're really great, and everybody else is just kind of extra. But this yeah. one, all the extra characters are so quirky and fun, and I just love all the crazy people that he works with because he works yeah. with, it's sort of like he's at 
the that's fine. Herd, but it's the nerd herd. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you'll find, or you may have already started to, but some of the really annoying characters that he works with um, become like the beloved characters. <laughs> I mean, maybe beloved is a little bit strong. No, I think you got it. They're they're just charmingly quirky fun. So the two, um, gosh darn it. I want to ask you a question, but I don't want to spoil anything. Oh. So the two guys that he works with, Lester and, oh, what's the other guy's name? Morgan. No, not Morgan. Um, 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 oh, gosh. Oh, I know who you mean. And okay, so Le Lester and the other guy. Um, yeah. Have they done anything super interesting yet? Um, <laughs> They're quirky, but I have a feeling I haven't seen wherever you're going to go. Or it would just Okay, well, let me just tell you, um, because you said that Captain Awesome is wanting to propose to Ellie, who's the main character's sister. Yes. Um, I don't think I'm spoiling anything to say that eventually that does happen. And I, no joke, even before you told me that you'd started watching this show, I was just the other day thinking of the episode of their wedding. Oh. Because it is so bonkers i mean it is just <laughs> it is it is awesome in a lot of different ways <laughs> it might be a two-parter so the thing about chuck is that the whole time it was on tv it was on the bubble so it was on the verge of cancellation it's whole really stretch. yes it's like on prime they've got five seasons and so yeah. i'm assuming since it's not new that that's the whole run of the show yes yeah so every um every finale feels like it could be a series finale. Gotcha, gotcha. Although, of course, there's a cliffhanger and, you know. Yeah. Um, how could they not have realized how totally charming this show was? And that I don't know. And so, actually, fun fact, um, I don't know what season. Maybe it was after the first season or the second one. Um, it was possibly going to be canceled. And so fans, um, I can't quite remember how it happened, but fans got involved and lobbied subway okay so the first so the first season i remember now sarah works at the uh the the, the hot dog like yeah yeah, yeah like, hot dog. it's got a weird name yeah yeah um, so you'll see uh, this is not a spoiler but in the next season it's a subway ah and so um by the way my four-year-old is brushing my hair <laughs> um, behind me uh, <laughs> so yeah subway got involved as the kind of a a patron of the show uh -huh. to keep it on the air. They're smart. Yeah. So um, it's kind of funny how that kind of plays out later, later on. But yeah, it is one of my favorite shows. It did get toward the end a little bit, um, a little bit crazy. Stop it. <laughs> so when it ended, I wasn't sad that it was ending. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm greatly yeah. distracted by the makeover <laughs> I'm getting. Yeah. When that happens, um, that something, I mean, some things do. They start out really, really strong. Yes. In time, they just kind of, uh. Yes. Well, you'll see, like, the, the fact, like, the big, the big arc is, okay, he's got this thing in his brain. Yeah. Well, then if they resolve that, then they have to kind of up the stakes to even more. Sure. And so by the end of it, the way that they had upped the stakes, it was just, it seemed so silly. Um. But it's okay. I still I still love it. It is one of my absolute favorite shows. So I'm so excited that you're watching it. I know. It's super fun and it's kind of crazy that I never heard of it. But I am I am such a movie person. Like Yes. I, you always yeah, know all the movie person. But then T V wise, we've got a house full of kids. And so years ago we spent all of our time going, Turn off the T V, turn off the T V. There were kids on the T V all the time. And we canceled our cable and all that stuff years ago. But we've kept the Netflix and we've kept, you know, we've got the yeah. Amazon Prime and all that. So I end up seeing a lot more movies than TV. Now, are you allowed to tell us anything about the movie that you just recently saw? Um, I think I can now as of noon today. So I saw That's Amazon Prime. So Wonder. official. Yes, they put they put an embargo. Now, I I don't know. I mean, we're word people, but somehow an embargo on a movie, that just sounds like such a funny word for it. But anyway, maybe <laughs> because I just don't use that word very much. But as of noon today, I think I can talk about it. It was it was kind of funny. So 
There was a screening for it yesterday at three in the afternoon. Well, all my kids are at camp and my husband, hello, is at work at three o'clock in the afternoon. Right. So I went with a former student of mine. It worked out. Um, my friend that was going, it didn't work out. So I had a student who loves Marvel movies too. And so he thinks it's cool too. That he saw it. Oh, sorry. My husband's home. The dog's going to be. Um, that he saw it two weeks early. But yes, it was good. You know, the good thing about Marvel is they are just consistently good. Yeah. You know, I mean, like the DC stuff seems to be, other than Wonder Woman, we love right. Wonder Woman. Yes. It seems to be consistently <laughs> underwhelming. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But, I think I've, I've heard a lot of people say that. I know that's been my feeling too. Yeah. Well, and the Marvel movies just tend to be more fun. They are. They're fun. They're quirky. They and they. I like the way that they've just consistently gotten funnier. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, we were on vacation a couple of weeks ago, and Thor Ragnarok, the third of just the the mm -hmm. Thor movies, is on Netflix right now, which is awesome. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, go on Netflix and watch this. Yes. And um, so my husband and I watched it again while we were there, and it was the third time we've watched it, but it's a great thing. But, but um, they just keep getting funnier. Like, who knew Chris Hemsworth was so funny? And I know, I know. It's like, I wish I could see this again for the first time, because that was one thing that was striking. Is yes. That, yeah, like, you you were so, it was so much funnier because you weren't expecting it to be so funny. Well, especially because the first two Thor movies were a little bit... Yeah, they, they were, were a little bit drier, I guess. Yeah, they were not the best. I, mean, I didn't I'm, like them. Marvel was consistently good, but the Thor movies really were kind of like the bottom of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. But this one, like, turned it so much around. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my husband's texted me. I just saw it pop up. When you're done, can you let me in? Hello, honey. No. Um, <laughs> the door got locked. It's okay. The dog is, I'm sure, looking through the window at him. Um, <laughs> no, no. So, yeah, the Thor ones have just been, like, I don't know, not as good. But Ragnarok was really, really awesome. Right? Yeah, so good. Okay, so Ant-Man and the Wasp. So did it? does it take place after the last Avengers movie? Okay, I get totally confused by all this stuff. The order of time of everything, that there was no, there was no, like, there wasn't a big tie-in connection with the other ones. Okay, so they didn't mention... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. It, okay. So there were mentions of him going... I'm going to get all of my Avenger movies mixed up. Um, Civil War. Now, he was there in the big fight out in Civil War. Yes, yes. out of the airport. No, yes. there were, so it would have been after that. So okay. mentions of that, of him taking his Ant Man suit and going off for that. So that was mentioned. So it is after that. And then But not but I think maybe it's not after this most recent one. You know, where the ending was so traumatic. Yes. The ending Without, which we cannot speak. Yes. I know. I feel like if you're if like if you're gonna see the movie, you've probably seen it, but I I also don't want to spoil it because it's so crazy. Oh my gosh, that was one where my son and I saw a screening of that and well, at the screening and the movie ended and I looked at him and I said, we can't say anything. Right. And I came home and my husband said, so how was the movie? And I said, I can't talk about it. And he said, seriously, <laughs> to me, you can't talk about it. I said, no, I can't. I just cannot speak about it to anybody. Right. But I'll just say we need to go on opening night so you hear no spoilers and you see it right away and then we can talk. Yes. So, okay. So when you went to see it on opening night in your theater, how, like, how did people react at the end of the movie? Oh, it's, oh, well, I almost said something that would give it away if you hadn't seen it, but you know, people, uh, it was, it was kind of crazy because I do have all these former students. So I teach at a classical conversations program during the school year, one day a week. And so I teach 10th grade, but I see, you know, my students from years and years. So there were a lot of them that were in there and we all just stood outside the theater. People were just going and we all stood around my husband and all these teenagers outside the theater. And we must have talked about it for 20 minutes afterward because it just it gets your mind going because you yeah. have to think through like it's one of those things you can't just go, oh, this is what happened. But you have to you have to think it through. And yeah. I love things that make me think. I love any kind of show where 
you know, later you're analyzing everything. So we stood out. We talked about all the implications, what we thought was happening, where we thought it was going. Yes. Oh, my God. My theater was, it was almost just silent. Ah. Everyone, I think, was just stunned. Like, wait, yeah. that's, that's, that's what you're doing? Right. This is, this is it? <laughs> and even, like, as we were walking out, there was a couple in front of us, and the guy said to it, like his, you know, to his wife or whoever, he goes, you know, I've been in some theaters where everyone clapped at the end, and I just leaned forward and I said, this is not that. This is not that. No, no, no. Oh, and one thing I will say for people going to see Ant Man and the Wasp, and this is not a spoiler, this is like an anti-spoiler. You know, if it's a Marvel movie, you have bonus scenes at the end. But just yep. be smart because rarely do you only have one bonus scene. You mm -hmm. just sit there in your seat until you're absolutely convinced <laughs> that nothing could possibly be happening. It's just what you do. Yes. Okay. That's a good reminder. Sit till the end because at the end of the last Avengers movie, there I think there was just one. I don't, and it was I don't, dumb. Now I'm trying. Wait, was that or that was that? At the end of Black Panther, maybe? I don't know. And then there was one of them where there were multiple, like three or four. Yes. A million. This one, I, I think two. Just but two. You know, got the one in like a normal time. And then you just got to sit there till the very, very end. I mean, you might as well. You paid for the ticket. I know. What always kills me is those people. There's always people that, I mean, you can tell it's the end and the credits are about to run. And they jump up out of their seat and they start heading for the door. And I always think, are you just too cool to finish the movie that you paid for? What are you doing? I mean, seriously. Yes. Or like, have you never seen a movie before? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you better let your husband in the house. And my four-year-old has, has hit her limit of quietness. So. Um, we can wrap this up, but, um, oh, I just, I wasn't even paying attention. Looks what? like we had a comment from Hannah. Oh, okay. Oh, she said she's been tempted to watch Chuck since it showed up on prime. Yes. Me too. Hannah. <laughs> now? She wanted, uh, she saw that, um, Chuck was on prime and she's been, oh, tempted Chuck. To watch okay. it. of course that was it. Yes. It's, it's adorable. You may get sucked into like a Chuck vortex like I have and oh not my gosh. until you get further. Okay. Oh, I think there's another comment. Oh, yes. She's, yes. She said fun discussion. <laughs> um, yes. And honestly, like Don and I could probably talk for an hour about all this. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but we won't this time. Um, where can people find you Don? online? Where's the best place? Um, okay. I'm on Instagram at Dawn camp and on Facebook at uh, my home sweet home online. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This was so fun. It was fun. Thank you. I love you, Mary. I always like to hang out with you, even if it's virtually. I know. Even if we have a screen between us. <laughs> All right. See you guys later.